Hello Oxbow Creek students and staff. Welcome to a new week. We do not have school this Thursday and Friday, so I hope you plan something fun and to get outside and enjoy this fall weather. Let's all stand and say the pledge with Mrs. Neagle's class. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our student leader, Seamus, is here to share some information about focus and attention. My name is Seamus. I'm in 5D. Remember, it's important to focus your attention. Hey, it is once again time to showcase the amazing books that you are reading. Perhaps you have found books that you love in our media, media center here at Oxbo, or on your bookshelves at home, or the public library, or your classroom, or even our book fair that we recently had. Well, if you have found books that you love and you think that others might love them too, a great thing to do is tell them about it. And a great way to tell them about it is with a book break. So you can fill out one of these forms that you can get from your classroom teacher or from the office or even the media center to tell others about the books that you're reading without giving away the very best parts. After you have a book break form all filled out, give that back to your teacher and perhaps you will be featured on announcements to share the books that you love and inspire others to maybe want to read them too. Stay tuned for more announcements where you can hear about books that you might love to read. As fall is setting in and our temperatures are cooling off, it's important that we review the expectations for winter gear as we head to the cafeteria. Let's watch this video. All right, fourth graders, it's time to get ready for lunch and recess. Well, I guess it's that time that we have to get ready for lunch. And I know that we've had a lot of issues, basically in classrooms and getting down to the lunchroom. So, Mr. Maslowski, to the rescue, is here to talk to you about the procedures that you need to follow. First of all, we're going to walk over to our locker, and we're gonna make sure that we grab our hats and mittens. Okay, make sure you grab your hats and mittens put them inside your hat. That way you don't lose them. Make sure you have your jacket. Okay, so sometimes in the winter time we have people that are showing up at the lunchroom without their jackets. So we wanna make sure we got our hats, our jackets, then we gotta get our boots, okay? Hopefully your boots are all lined up next to your locker. Grab your boots and then your uh, snow pants. Put your snow pants on, folks. It's that easy, put your snow pants on. Then put your boots. On, take your tennis shoes off, put them in your locker. Hopefully you have tennis shoes on, because you I know that you have them in your locker. So you put your tennis shoes in your locker, you put your boots on, after you get your snow pants, then grab your hat, okay, with your mittens in it, and your jacket, and I always tell everybody, take your hat, maybe put it inside so you do not forget them, okay? Then, we're going to line up for lunch. All right, it's time for lunch. Yes, we're gonna get a great food here right in our lunchroom. Remember, every once in a while we do drop our mittens or hats. If you do that, make sure you pick it up. Or if you see someone drop their hat or mitten, let them know, tap them on the shoulder so we don't have anybody lose their hats or mittens. Now, occasionally, after you grab your stuff, you're gonna realize, uh-oh, where'd my glove go? Okay, if that's the case, Walk over to the area where t today's lost and found is, and I bet you find it in there because we've trained all our students here at Oxmo Creek to make sure that they look in that area, or if they find something, to put something in there. That way it's recovery times a lot faster. Now I'm down here for lunch, okay? Now, I can either A, make sure I put my hat and my mittens inside my coat pocket, which is one option, and set it on my seat, or if you want, you can definitely use your jacket, put it on, 
Okay, but you might get a little hot just to let you know. Okay, but you can definitely go through the line. Make sure your hat is on in that case, but your mittens must be in the coat pockets. Your mittens must be in the coat pockets. I would highly recommend it. Put your hat, mittens inside your sleeve, set your jacket right there on your seat, and then when it's time, I can walk on over for my opportunity to get a great lunch here in the lunchroom. Now folks, going outside is a lot of fun, okay? after lunch, but we gotta make sure that we are safe, okay? Just like in Fayette, remember safety first. Have fun, but make sure you're playing safe in the snow. On behalf of the staff here at Oxbow Creek, let's make sure we get these lunch procedures down and let's have a great recess. Well, greetings Oxbow students and staff. I have some very special visitors with me today. We have the very special privilege of acknowledging students for the wonderful things that they're doing here at school. And we're going to start today with Max. So Max is here, and Max was caught doing some pretty wonderful things, demonstrating skills in October, things like listening, focus and attention, and using self-talk. I'm going to read a little bit about what your teacher said. That you went home on a rainy night, and you decided to dedicate your whole night at home to learning. Is that true? Yeah. Tell me about that. So it's a math game we have on the computers. It's called Prodigy. Yeah. And it's like all hard math questions and when you level up it gets harder and harder. And you did that at home just to help yourself learn yeah. even more. We are so proud of you. Nice work, Thank Max. You. And next we have Grace. And Grace also was caught doing some great things at school. The month that we were, or the skills we were focusing on this month were listening, focus, attention, self-talk, and I'm going to read a little bit about what you did, Grace. This says, I can always count on Grace to be looking at the speaker. Whatever is going on, whether it's the teacher or even a classmate. Really good listening skills. You want to tell us more about that? Um, um, You know, it sounds like, that listening to others helps you learn. Is that true? Well, we are so grateful to have you here at Oxbow demonstrating these fabulous skills. Thank you. All right, amen. All right, so now we have some students who were caught being wild about learning. We talked about this when I visited each of your teams and grade levels. This is a really awesome award. It sounds like, Lehman, you are an outstanding student, classmate, and Oxbow citizen. You have the drive to be successful. Is that true? <laughs> that is one of the most fabulous traits you can have as a learner. Thank you so much for working so hard for your teachers and working hard to succeed. You will certainly go far in life, sir. Next, we have McKenna. And McKenna is also wild about learning. I'm going to read a little bit about what McKenna's teacher said. You work hard to be a great classmate at all times. Whoa! Do you like being in class? It sure sounds like you do. You work until your work is completed at a really high level. You're pretty persistent, aren't you? That is amazing. Thank you so much, McKenna. It is so great to hear that you're doing wonderful things here at school. All right, next we have Melody. And Melody was also caught being wild about learning this month. She's off to a great start. I hear you're new to Oxbow. Did you know I am too? Yeah, I'm new to Oxbow too, so it's wonderful to celebrate successes with you. You do something that is so critical to student learning. You ask questions to clarify and you're always focused on the task. Those are wonderful attributes of learners. Thank you so much, Melody. You're doing a wonderful job, and we are so glad to have you at Oxbow. All right, our last celebration today is Kathleen. And Kathleen, I'm going to read a little bit about why we're recognizing you today. We are recognizing you for your outstanding academic effort. Do you know what that means? Are you a hard worker? 
It sounds like you are. You're a hard worker. You're new to Oxbow also, just like me. I thought, welcome. We're so glad to have you. You're a great role model to others, and you stay focused on work in your classroom. That's pretty incredible. Thank you for being such a good role model to Oxbow students. Congratulations. That's all we have for you today. Please keep working hard. I'd love to see more of you here next month as we celebrate the outstanding achievements of our students. I hope you all enjoyed the kindness messages as you entered school. I sure did. It was a great way to start the day and remind ourselves how important it is to be kind to everyone here. Thank you. That's all I have for this week. Have a great one.